So here we have the single leg deadlift. Now, this is a very good exercise to challenge, again, the imbalances that you may have on stronger leg, weaker leg. Why I think this is a very good exercise for most people if they are, have kettlebells is because you don't have to buy so many kettlebells to get stronger. So not only are you focusing on two kettlebells, you're also focusing on just one leg. Instead of lifting two kettlebells with two, you're lifting it with just one leg. As you can see from my setup, I'm basically making sure that my foot, the, the middle of the foot is in line with the kettlebells. I am pushing the kettlebells as close together because I don't want it too wide. I want to be nice and tight to the kettlebells as possible. The back leg is just a way for me to be on my tiptoes to be able to uh, keep my balance. What we do from this position is we're going to be imitating a deadlift position and that is hips back just like in the RDL and then a minor squat we should be feeling some tension on this leg because we are squatting but most of the weight should be through this left leg from here we extend the chest up and we really focus on this leg and we understand that we're trying to push through the floor through our center foot so if you feel that you're leaning forward you want to avoid that. A good cue is to make sure that your knee doesn't go over your toe. So when we're in that position, we load this leg, chest up, hold tight on the kettlebells and push through the leg and we extend the knee and the hips to meet into the middle. We then lower with our hips going back and then we make sure that we use our leg as a good, a good guide to make sure the kettlebells go down. So instead of it going up and then you end up bringing it here, we use our leg to guide us down. So that means that our hips are automatically going to be having to cue back and we can then load the hamstrings, the glutes and a little bit of the quads at the start. Uh, common mistakes that I often see is that people will end up trying to use that other leg as a push so we want to try and negate that feeling also they will not focus solely on the glutes or the hamstrings they often feel it in their quads when they're standing that means that they're just often squatting too low and as you can see the knee is actually going over the toe and they are actually pushing through focusing on the front leg rather than as you can see rather than the back leg. Front leg, back leg. Give that a go. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a DM at any time.